man, let me, did I tell you about the time I was on The Price is Right? Oh, man, they didn't even air it. This is what happened, right? I went to Hollywood Boulevard, and you get a free ticket to get on The Price is Right. They give them out for free. So yeah, I take the bus ride, you know, to uh to to the studios there for the prices right, and they they put my name sticker all up on my chest. It's got J D written on it. You know what I mean? They I sign my name and everything, agreeing that you know if if I get on the prices right and stuff like that, that I'll be able to pay the taxes and get my shit. You know what I mean? At the end of the show, I was like, yeah, no problem, lying my ass off, got it, got paid taxes. You know, I figure if I win at least a ring or like a TV or something like that, I can pay the taxes on that. You know what I mean? But if I was to win the whole showcase, then we're going to have a problem. You know what I mean? Because I don't know if I'll be able to pay the taxes on all on a $40,000 showcase. But it, so anyway, so I was on it and, and, and I got lucky. I, I won an iPad and I went up there, you know what I mean? And then uh, I, I won the iPad and then I played the, uh, I played Plinko. And I won, uh, I won, I won ten thousand dollars playing Plinko. They wouldn't let me have it. And then I went because I couldn't pay the taxes on the ten grand. So I was told them, I said, well, let's take the ten grand and we'll, the money that's mine that I just won and pay the taxes. They said, no, nah, you got to pay the taxes on that ten thousand, and then we'll give you what's left of the ten grand. Couldn't even pay that. So then, then I made it on to the sh to the big wheel. I spun the wheel. I hit a dollar. As soon as I spun it. You know what I mean? One a grand. You know, we stood over there while the other two contestants, they went ahead and, o and over did it. You know, they fucked up. They, they went over the dollar value. So I got to spin the wheel again. I spun it and it landed on the five. So I won, you know, I won 10,000 on top of my grand. So that's 11,000. And then, uh, I got to spin the wheel one more time and I hit the dollar again. So I won a total of like 41,000 or 34,000 some odd dollars or whatever. But I wasn't able to pay the taxes. So, you know, I, they didn't air the show. But, you know, I told Drew on stage, you know, when he asked me, so where are you from? I told him I'm from 11th in Colorado. I sleep on the front steps of this modeling agency company. Or I go to Wise Entertainment or Chick Studios and sleep on their steps. But I'm here today to let everybody know that I am homeless and I'm not going to be able to pay the taxes on none of this shit. So if anybody would like to be kind, come out their pocket and pay the taxes on my showcase, you know, I'll, I'll give you the uh, the tablet that I won in the very beginning. So that that was that's my story that well, I was on the Price is Right, but they never aired it. So, you know, that really sucks, man, because that would have really blew me up, you know what I mean? But they weren't going to put a homeless guy, you know what I mean, to air this episode, even though they all were laughing. I had the whole crowd cracking up. You know, they were laughing their asses off, man. I had, I got a couple dollars when I left. People outside. I went right outside, man, started flying my sign. As soon as I got off, you know, the price is right. I went outside, tears in my eyes, you know. And I just flew my sign, you know, letting everybody know that I was on the price is right, but I can't afford to pay the taxes. You know what I mean? T t tips and donations are deeply appreciated. Have a nice day. But anyway, that's my story about being on the price is right, y'all. Sorry I didn't air.